if there was a mistake that I made, it was that I pushed too hard with too little resources, and as a result, people made errors. Right now, the director of Metro Schools with a passionate defense of his time in this position. Dr. Sean Joseph just finishing addressing a crowd at a school board meeting and talking to reporters. Cameron Taylor joins us now with his message to Nashville. Cameron. Yeah, Tom and Tracy, he says it all comes down to not seeing eye to eye with the board. And he says he wants to help out with the transition for a new director of schools. Now, we did talk with him a little bit, and he did defend himself for about 30 minutes in front of school board members, teachers, and everyone else who was at the school board meeting this evening uh, surrounding some controversies he was defending himself, including that one we've been reporting all afternoon about the state looking to possibly suspending his teaching license for a year. Now, afterward, he spoke with reporters and told us why he's not seeking a contract renewal. It becomes harder when you don't have a full team, uh, everybody rowing in the same direction. Uh, so we, you know, we get through that, but we're 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 fine. Uh, it'll hopefully they'll find somebody that, and they'll all row in the same direction uh, because we're making progress, as I shared. And some of that progress he shared, he did tout a lot of his successes, saying more kids are reading on grade level. Now, all of this comes as a school board member proposed to terminate his contract. And remember, it's not up until June of next year. Now, uh, he was asked whether if uh, the board voted him out, whether he would take some sort of buyout. And he told us that, that it would be worked out. We're live in Nashville. Cameron Taylor, News 4. And I'm Lauren Lowry at the Live Desk. The Metro Minority Caucus came out swinging today, criticizing Nashvilleans, saying the way Dr. Sean Joseph has been treated in the last few days has been racially motivated. Several members of the Minority Caucus stood in support of Dr. Joseph today in the public square. The group called the last week of criticism a disgrace for Nashville. What the media isn't covering is that we have an increase in ACT scores. We have an increase in proficiency for our English learner students. We have more students participating in IB and AP dual enrollment programs than we've had before Dr. Joseph. Because this is a young man of overt intellect, professionalism, yes. dignity, yes. character, yes. somebody that we could be proud of. But in the eyes of many, that's not enough. I think this has to do with overt racism. So the second woman you just heard from there, Brenda Harris Haywood, she was one of the first students to integrate into Stratford High School. She even went on to say after 50 years in Metro schools, she hasn't seen the needle move much toward equality. The group ended by saying they don't need to prove their comments and the letter of resignation by former board member Will Pinkston is the proof. Tom and Tracy. Lauren Lowry, thank you. And another development today, Dr. Joseph could be stripped of his educator license. News 4 has found out the State Board of Education is proposing a one-year suspension. Metro Schools policy says the school superintendent must have that license in order to have that job. Last fall, the News 4 I team told you how the district failed to report several cases of teacher misconduct, which is the reason for this proposed suspension. The I team uncovered more than two dozen cases where Metro Schools found teacher misconduct but delayed in telling state investigators. The superintendent has the right to a hearing his attorney says he plans to defend his actions. Will Pinkston, who abruptly resigned from the school board this week, has spent the last 24 hours sounding off on Twitter, calling out the board, the media, and more. He announced his resignation to the public on Twitter against the media covering Sean Joseph and the ineffectiveness of the board. He capped it off with a tweet saying he forgot what having a life was like. Food tastes better and air smells sweeter. Pinkston put up his resignation letter yesterday saying he made that decision to quit about a month ago, but it was expedited in the last week. He called the board chronically ill and says it will take a lot to fix it. There are still plenty of developments left in this story. One of the best ways to follow along is on our News 4 app. You can download it for free on all platforms.